Although it may not seem like it, super teams have been around in the NBA for a long time. It is true that in the past, players did not usually cut their salaries in order to play with others, but the astronomical figures paid in the NBA have allowed them to do so. However, team owners have been trying to build unbeatable squads for their entire careers. Welcome to Eternity Hoops. Today, we are going to review the top 10 biggest letdown teams in NBA history. We travel to Arizona to take a look at the 10th team on the list, the Phoenix Suns of the 1992-1993 season. The team was formed by three players who had been or were going to be all-stars during those years. In the case of Tom Chambers, he achieved it four times during the 80s, while in the cases of Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley, they would achieve it during their time with the Suns in the 90s. If that wasn't enough, the team managed to acquire the services of Charles Barkley. Chuck was one of the best power forwards in the NBA at the time, being part of the prestigious dream team that went to the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. All these elements allowed Phoenix to have an incredible regular season, with a record of 62 wins and 20 losses. In addition, Barkley won the regular season MVP. However, the team didn't have much of a chance against Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen's Chicago Bulls, who managed to beat them in the finals in six games. Our ninth place in the list goes to another team in which Charles Barkley played. However, the player was not on the roster at the time of one of the greatest letdowns in league history. It was the Houston Rockets of the 1985-1986 season. The team had the unstoppable inside force of the Twin Towers nickname given to the power forward and center of the Texas franchise. They were Hakeem Olajuwon and Ralph Sampson, and their combination of talent and size terrified the rest of the NBA. The team also had John Lucas and Lewis Lloyd in the backcourt. Despite the Rockets' incredible defensive skills, the team lost in the finals to a Boston Celtics team that eliminated them in five games. This Boston team, led by Larry Bird, is considered one of the best in basketball history. We have to move forward to 2013 to see the 8th place team. This is the Brooklyn Nets, who before that same summer had Darren Williams, Joe Johnson, and Brooke Lopez on their team. However, the entire Eastern Conference went into a tizzy when thanks to a trade in which they sacrificed much of their future, the Nets acquired the services of Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. The advanced age of the entire team put them in a time crunch. During their first season together under rookie coach Jason Kidd, the Nets posted a record of 44 and 38 losses. Then, in the playoffs, the team only managed to reach the conference semifinals, where they lost four games to one to LeBron James's Miami Heat, who would go on to win the championship. And precisely, we come to a LeBron James team. The 2009 Cleveland Cavaliers are the next team on our list. It is true that the Ohio franchise never surrounded LeBron with the best players. But it is also true that during the 2009 season, the management did everything they could to be competitive. Not only did they manage to sign Shaquille O'Neal, but they also managed to acquire Antoine Jameson mid-season. However, all of this came to nothing as the Boston Celtics rolled over the Cavaliers in the second round of the playoffs. This, in addition, prompted LeBron's departure that same summer for Miami. A year before the Brooklyn Nets team we've been talking about, the 2012 Los Angeles Lakers put together a great team. The duo of Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol, who had recently been able to win two championships, was joined by Dwight Howard and Steve Nash. In both cases, two of the best players of the last decade. However, that experiment ended in disaster. The Lakers finished with a record of 45 wins and 37 losses, which made them face the San Antonio Spurs in the first round of the playoffs. The result of that series was 4-0, prompting Howard's departure in free agency that summer. Dwight, who was already starting to struggle with injuries, joined James Harden on the Houston Rockets. And you don't have to go far back in time to see the fourth spot. We all know what happened in the summer of 2010. LeBron James, as he said himself, took his talents to South Beach. There, collecting a salary of just $16 million, he joined Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh on a mission to win not one, not two, not three championships. The Miami Heat finished the regular season with a record of 58 wins and 24 losses, also winning the Eastern Conference playoffs. However, when everything seemed like a fairy tale, the Dallas Mavericks took away their championship chances. In only six games, the underdog team took the victory. Those finals saw Dirk Nowitzki crowned as the best European player in history. Even so, the Miami franchise won two rings in the following two seasons. 
Now it's time to travel back to the 90s to see the Houston Rockets again. And this time, Charles Barkley was part of this team. The Houston franchise put experience before physicality. The team had been champions just a short time ago, twice, during the years of Michael Jordan's first retirement. However, the return of the Bulls star decreed a new king in the league. The Rockets were able to bring together Clyde Drexler, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Charles Barkley on one team. However, it wasn't Jordan who managed to beat them. The Utah Jazz, with their dynamic play, were able to defeat Houston in the 1997 playoffs. Thus, Barkley missed the last window he had to grab a championship before retiring. During the summer of 2019, all the bookmakers had the Los Angeles Clippers as the favorites for the title. The franchise had not only scored the services of newly crowned champion Kawhi Leonard, but also managed to acquire Paul George in a trade. Both players were coming off the best season of their careers, so the NBA, which was without a king on the throne after Kevin Durant's departure to Brooklyn, thought it had found the new favorite. However, since then and until today, the Clippers have been unable to have continuity during the seasons, as both Leonard and George have suffered a plethora of serious injuries. The Clippers, coached by Tyrone Liu, are always able to qualify for the playoffs without the performance of their stars, so if they had them, they would surely make a lot more noise. One of the best dynasties of all time, the Los Angeles Lakers of Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal were capable of almost anything from 2000 to 2002. The Lakers won all three NBA championships. However, after the disappointment suffered in 2003, the team decided to acquire the services of Gary Payton and Carl Malone, two legendary players who were in the final stages of their careers. The Lakers started off very strong with a record of 18 wins and three losses, in addition to qualifying for the NBA Finals during the playoffs. However, the team suffered a great lack of chemistry during the series against the Detroit Pistons, in which the Los Angeles Lakers lost by four games to one. That was Shaq's last season with the Lakers, as that same summer he would leave for the Miami Heat, where he would win a ring in 2006. And as you can imagine, the top spot on our list goes to the Brooklyn Nets of the 2021 season. Not only did the Nets sign Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving during the previous summer, but that same season, they would get James Harden in exchange for a large number of draft picks. The Nets thus brought KD, Kyrie, and the Beard together on the same team. Three of the best players of the last decade united to dominate the NBA. However, a series of factors took place on the team. First of all, injuries sidelined the players for long periods of time. In addition, Kyrie had a falling out with the Nets over the issue of COVID-19 shots and a certain documentary for which he suffered sanctions. In the end, the trio could only play 16 games together and never advanced past the second round of the playoffs. A case of a team that could enter this list in the future is the 2023 Phoenix Suns. Bradley Beal has been the latest acquisition of an ambitious project that puts them back in a position to win another title, with players like Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, or DeAndre Ayton. Will it be this time the definitive one, or will the Phoenix Suns become another new letdown team? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoy NBA content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. These have been the top 10 biggest letdown teams in NBA history.